my roots are both in San Francisco Chinatown and also in Canton, China. I was born here in the U.S. and born in San Francisco, but my parents immigrated here from Poisson. Those are my roots. San Francisco, Chinatown most because it's like my home, my community. This is also like my playground as an artist. Since I can remember as a kid, I've always wanted to be an artist. When I was younger, I noticed that I didn't see myself represented in the arts or in media. A lot of Asian American young people kind of see, oh, like my form of art is to make sure that there's representation for Asian Americans in art and media. And that is important, but I don't think it should end with Asian American representation because I think there's so much more and so many layers and variants of our story. Our communities are super multi-layered. I grew up in the SRO in Chinatown. The images I can kind of offer is the staircases that we walk up after a long day's work or the grocery store, like the cat that I'm seeing or the bakery that I always visit. These are all places that make up home for me and are part of my art practice and not just like art practice, but a part of how I understand Chinatown culture and Chinatown visual culture. When I look at Chinatown, it's really We're very vibrant. I think sometimes in more mainstream, more academic understanding of like Chinese art, highbrow Chinese art, people think of the mountain paintings, like the scroll paintings. But for me, I think about bright red and jade green, gold, pink. You know, we have a lot of pink if you walk around in the neighborhood from people's clothing to the pink pastry boxes to the canopies that we have. Chinatown's really colorful. And I'm also thinking about how important sound is to me because there's a lot of sounds in Chinatown, like a lot of people talking, a lot of cars and people selling vegetables and the fish market and pigeons. That's why I think like audio Um, is really important when it comes to telling stories. Another part of my art practice is when I am working in community through my art, I always want it to be intergenerational. For making art, accessibility is number one thing. I always want to make sure that it's free. People can see it. They don't have to pay money to go inside some locked up like institution to see it. Not that's bad or anything, but for me, that's for me. The second thing is something that any person walking by can look at and understand. Can a child understand it? Sometimes art is so gatekept and elitist and inaccessible to people. If you don't have those certain experiences or education to understand it, I think about my own mother who's a working class immigrant woman who had elementary school education from a town in China, is she able to understand it if I were to make this mural? If she does, I succeeded in my job. 